Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Pastor A. Today, we're going to talk about them four major lies. There are four major lies that are told to women. And trust me, they've been told so long. They have been told by men and they're told by women. So let's just get started with lie number four. And lie number four is when he gets with me, I can change him. Now, the conversation would start something like this. Girl, when I get him, you know, I do what I do. Then I dress him up and then I fill this out and I can do this and I'll do that. I can change it. Well, mm, yeah, no, uh, no, you can't. You can't change it. And I'm pretty sure you tried and I'm pretty sure you failed in this department. And I'm sorry. But however, for some strange reason, some women are under this impression that when they get a man, that they can miraculously just change him. I'll be the first to tell you ladies, you're not God, you're not Jesus, nor are you the Holy Spirit. Now, he might try to change for you, but that only lasts for a minute. And the reason why that only lasts for a minute is because he's not necessarily changing because he's convicted by the Holy Spirit to change, or is he changing to better himself, for himself? No, he's changing for you. And changing for you will only last for just a short while. Because the only way somebody can actually truly change is by the power of God, through Jesus Christ, and being filled with the Holy Spirit. That is the only way a man will be led to change. See, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says it this way. See, therefore, if anyone who's in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. And see, the old is passed away. And behold, the new has come. So you see, ladies, you can't change a man. You can't even change yourself, let alone talking about you're going to change a man. 